ZD's closer. If we split our votes, we're even further apart, right? This is You're crazy. my boy. This is crazy. You're my boy. You guys could have gave them all to me first. <sighs> I'm just saying. If you're going to support anyone, support someone from MD. Logic, mm -hmm. ZD, I don't care. Both. Mm -hmm. Just put out those votes mm -hmm. for someone, please. Anyway, guys, we're getting into our next match. There's no I can save that. No tears on the stream today for me. Two, one, go. All right, so here we go. Getting into our winner's quarter, or winner semis match, Linum versus um, Mr. Q I S L. Okay, Linum. Actually, how many characters has Linum played? We saw Ike, Donkey Kong, and not Link yet, but there's still time. There's still time. Um, somebody mentioned that is, or that their link was very, very good. So we're gonna find out if you know that does, if that's the case. Oh, oh no! You, oh, we didn't, we didn't work. oh my it god! Worked. Oh my! Okay. <laughs> you demon! Oh my! I'm you, out! I'm out! You Ganondorf extraordinaire! Help us, please! We are not worthy. The we king of evil worthy. is here. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of evil is in the building. Please. Wow. Order of boss. All right. <laughs> I mean, look, it, apparently Link only wins in his games. <laughs> He's like, I have gotten the hand so many times. You got to hold this. <laughs> I'm out of words. <laughs> yeah, this, this is something else. But there's still some hope. Win him, you know? He's starting, he's starting to get his heat back, starting to get his groove back. He's starting to have some space to play neutral. And oh my god, if Mr. Q left that rip, or if ISL left that rip. Are going to be able to come back? Apparently, yes. Good space on that. Oh, oh my gosh. OK. And what if Lenham wins? The softest of, <laughs> the softest of hits. Yeah, what if this comeback happens? What if? Is he? If he didn't have a jump, that would have been that. Yeah, that would have been crazy. They're playing a very dangerous game out there. Well, ISL, I, I uh -oh. think what's, what's definitely filling themselves, but right now it's looking very rough. You've been stuck on this ledge for who knows how long. Dang, I didn't know this was a single player game. I, ISL hasn't had a chance to actually touch the stage in a solid 30 seconds. All right, so here comes the boomerang. Almost even, Gendorf still has that kill power that we saw before, but if they can't get it going, it doesn't even matter. Getting that up B out of shield, going down with that bomb, throwing out another one. That up B, you know what? Do it to him. Do and unto others. The comeback, <laughs> even though ISL got a clip, Linum, not caring, brings it all the way back, gets that W. That was a phenomenal performance. ISL got a clip. Linum got a montage off that. That was an amazing display of mental fortitude after literally getting Warlock punched and forward smashed for two stocks. <laughs> Hawk champs in the chat. Let me get some of that. <laughs> that was that was wild. That was wild. That's this is why I love all my tournaments. Dude. I love seeing stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and that was according to the lore too. Like Link, he might be down, but he's never out against the King of Evil. And uh, we're gonna. I, I do wonder at this point is is ISO gonna actually stay Ganondorf? You know, you can make a case for and against because, you know, on the first hand, those two socks before were clean. And maybe he just kind of lost steam or thought that it was like, oh man, this is free. But, hey, that last stock was where everything kind of started to fall apart. So just play everything like you did the first two stocks. I feel that. Basically, in the immortal words of Isaiah, just don't get hit. That's, that's, it's very easy. It's very easy. You know, just don't get hit. I mean, part of not getting hit, you could just not play the game. You know, that's that's. Well, I mean, ISL for the last like 30 seconds on that ledge, you didn't get to play the exactly. game. Exactly. <laughs> like that bomb, that forward tilt, everything that Link did um, was a call out to his recovery options. And they are getting back into this. That tech skill, not exactly the same as the last winter semis, but it, it, it's looking better than the quarters. And K ruled the opting for a different heavy this time around. I mean, I guess ISL just likes big bad kings. That's their motif. There you go. K rule versus Link. Um, I would be surprised if Linum pressed forward while K rule's on the ground ever in this matchup because K rule 
hits very hard, but has some trouble um, getting in against characters who have a lot of projectiles sometimes. Yeah, one thing that K. Rool does try to use is uh, some of the armor on the stomach. Um, maybe from nares, maybe from a couple of tilts, or just straight out using the counter. But things like that really do help him kind of alleviate a bit of that pressure, you know, because it's difficult for him to get inside a lot of times. Exactly. But you can't tank hits all day. You do have a limit on that armor. Ooh, that back air always feels like it's hitting like a truck. Yeah, I feel like my stock's gone every time it hits me. Mm -hmm. A very odd clash right there. 88 to 77. Slightly the ISL, a bit more enhanced when you think about uh, how heavy of a character ISL or King K. Rool is. Yeah, one of the heaviest in the game. So look at how he got said nowhere with that. He might even live this, never mind if he died. But that's kind of a testament to the commitments that you have to take against a big character like that. High risk, high reward. It looks like Linum is gambling tonight. Definitely true, and it's working out, you know? So kudos to, to Linum in that Blackjack game. Definitely on the come up. Oh, great parry before too. And as a heavier character, sometimes it's hard to get a punish off of a parry, but um, when you get something like that meaty, it works out in favor. I, I really thought that ISL was going to go for the uh, the down throw Ooh. into a, a potential stock. <laughs> and right now, not doing it. You know, he, ISL is back off stage. That up, he almost taking it very close. Leno is just playing this matchup perfectly. ISL finally tying up the stocks. Yeah, and ISL, he could have committed, or excuse me, Lennon could have committed to that a little bit more just to kind of trade stocks. They both would have died there. But because he didn't, um, now Lennon is on his second stock, same as uh, ISL. So that might have been something to consider, but hey, when you have plays like you've been doing so far, it's not the biggest deal in the world. For sure. Dude, that was so nifty. None of that was true, but it was so flashy. Mm -hmm. Lennon. Let him try to get a little payback from that Ganondorf combo vid. Yeah, that's a mentality thing. It's like, all right, I got hit. I kind of got hit a lot that first game. But one, I won the game. And two, I'm going to do it right back. I'm sure that boomerang is not able to really help out Linum in that case. And the first match is going to come through ISL. How are you going to recover? I don't know if you want to do it straight up. I actually thought that um, Linum was going to throw the bomb down to actually try to challenge the up. He didn't do it, but oh, that stock no. is gone. You can't whiff. Certain things you can't whiff. You just can't whiff. Unfortunate. We saw um, K. Roll go for the down smash whiff, unfortunately. Because you went for a big punish, you just lost the game for it. I don't blame him for going for it, though. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, you know. Sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, you, sometimes you take large risks. Sometimes they don't pay off.